morning. Welcome to another travel vlog. Now I'm in the uh, village of Scrooby, <coughs> which is in uh, just in between uh, Doncaster and sort of uh, near Bawtry area. It's a great little stopover. Very quiet. All you can hear is just birds singing. It's the second day of autumn, and uh, there, that's all you can hear. Farm machinery and birds singing. Scrooby's famous for the um, Pilgrim Fathers, that's where they set off from. And uh, at the village, which is just down there, uh, there's a church and it's got some of the history as well. So what you've got here is uh, facilities. <coughs> um, you've got uh, toilet, shower, uh, Elson, and you can wash your pots and everything in a little outbuilding just there. You've got electric hookup in this side, in this field. And then if you're more sort of self-sufficient, the next field down you can park up in there and just use your own facility, you know, use your own uh, like solar panels and stuff like that. So uh, it's a family run business and it is absolutely beautiful and the owners are just the nicest people in the world. So uh, I'm going to have a, take a few pics around here and uh, show you around the area. that leads you down to the campsite is you come down this lane and your campsite's here just on your right just look for the two flags with the flag poles um, <coughs> there's a pub called the Pilgrim Fathers so as you come down the main road the pub's on your right hand side take your turn in it looks like you're turning into the car park and just turn into that and just follow this track all the way down <coughs> at the bottom there you'll probably just be able to hear the traffic from the main road now but uh, I mean this is a full blown Saturday morning and all you can hear is bird song it's really nice so what I'll do is I'll take you a little walk down there show you where the pub is and then I'll nip over the road and I'll show you where the church is because that's you know a good um, reference point for history about the uh, Pilgrim Fathers Trail so uh, if you're interested in your history it's uh, something you can do and it's a walk as well because it's absolutely stunning. <clears throat> the walk along the lane is a pleasant walk as well. It's good underfoot. Um, you can get a wheelchair along it as well or a mobility scooter. There's a couple of potholes which you'd expect in any lane that's not used constantly by normal daytime traffic and stuff. But it's nice and quiet and it's only a very short walk as well. You're talking probably from the campsite to the pub which is just along here. Ten minutes tops, you know, and that's at a leisurely pace. So I've walked down the lane, now behind me you can hear that's the Great North Road and that road has a lot of history to it as well. <coughs> this is the road that all our past kings and dignitaries would have travelled up and down there. Um, <coughs> I believe Henry VIII actually allowed trading laws on a Sunday because of all the travelling that used to be done, um, which was obviously unheard of then. So. I'm walking down Church Lane, behind me was the Pilgrim Fathers, which I just showed a few stills of them. Um, this building is known as the Old Rectory, and you can see it's uh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, and then there's a nice little kitty cat there, look. So, down here is the church. <coughs> I 
Have you noticed on all my videos I'm always clearing my throat? Well, I haven't smoked for years. So, here's the church. So, I shall do a few stills, but you can see it's a short walk. for the Robin Hood Airport as well and you'll just hear the objects lazily just trekking across the sky so if you do like your aircraft as well you'll just see the object coming in quite low sometimes they're coming in they're dropping through the fog as well and you see the lights lighting up the base of the cloud as well so it's quite mystical but um, Robin Hood Airport used to be formerly RAF Finninley and uh, it's also where the Vulcan, the last flying Vulcan, that's where it took off from um, and it was based there. Obviously it's grounded now but the uh, Vulcan is still available to view at Robin Hood Airport so if you're an aviation enthusiast as well you've got bugs. <coughs> you've got um, that to look at as well and that's just down the road as well towards Doncaster. Um, if like me you like reading gravestones this, this place is it's phenomenal, it's got an amazing history to it. I mean, you know, for starters, the Pilgrim Fathers set off from here. This is where they came from, Scrooby. This is where they, they started, you know, well, thank you. This, this is where they started their journey. Um, you know, the boat, um, um, a lot of people obviously, they know the story from uh, Plymouth onwards, but it's, it's here, this is where it all happened. graves here are uh, very old, some of them are going back to the 1700s, I can just visibly see here. Um, but do give Scrooby a visit, <coughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful place, the campsite is absolutely stunning, the village is steeped in history and either side of you you've got the Mayflower Run so you can actually follow the trail if you wanted to. Uh, you've got Bawtree just up the road there as well which is also a nice place to visit. Um, but yeah, pop in, see Scrooby, it's the church and everything, there's St. Winifred's Church, scratch that, St. Wilfred's, not St. Winifred's, St. Wilfred's, got it? Yeah, definitely put it on your list of places to visit and uh, pop in, have a meal at the Pilgrim Fathers pub, and yeah, make this one of your favourite stops. Thanks for tuning in, that's another travel vlog, another job jobbed, take care.